With gang violence racking Haiti, many of those who left the Caribbean nation feel helpless when they call terrified family members who can't leave because airports are closed. When Vivian Petit Frere fled her native Haiti for Brazil in 2019, she always believed she would eventually return home until now. Yo nació en 87. Entonces, desde mi infancia, no hay ni... I was born no, no, in 1987, no and so, since my normal. infancy, Entonces, I have not known peace. I don't know what normal is. Viajara. When the previous Entonces, generation migrated, Haiti, they would often trabajar, think about how to work and regresa. make money to come back Pero to Haiti. Tiempo, no. But now you don't. Como, it is hard to say, decir, but it is like fleeing un, death. Huir. De, de la muerte. A devastating earthquake in 2010 sent many Haitians to Brazil and Chile. When Brazil's economy tanked in 2016, Haitians were one of the first nationalities to leave through Panama's Darien Gap to the United States. No hay ninguna espera, ningún camino. There is no road back because of the gangs. I know they are also marginalized people that have suffered, but they've turned on us. It's like they're suffering and they take it out on their brothers and sisters, and that's not okay. The U.S. is the top destination for Haitian migrants and President Joe Biden's carrot and stick approach to immigration seemed to have worked largely with Haitians, but crossing to the United States by sea is now too risky. We need comprehension. We need people to understand our pain. They don't have to share our pain, but instead understand it. People shouldn't see us as a threat. We're people who are fleeing for our lives. Much of Haiti, particularly Port-au-Prince, the capital, has long been in the grip of criminal gangs. But their violent activity escalated dramatically in February when armed groups raided a prison and released thousands of inmates, demanding the Prime Minister Ariel Henry resign.